Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I thought, since y'all really seem to enjoy my DIY spa day video, that I would spice it up a little bit and make it more themed for fall and add pumpkin to it and hopefully y'all will enjoy it because it's pumpkin and who doesn't love pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin themed things for fall so I added that into some of different spa type things for you to try with your friends at like a sleepover or if you're just having a stress day at work or something and you want to like create something and have a relaxing day, try one of these out and let me know how it goes in the comments. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I wanted to share with y'all the pumpkin facial. So for this, you're gonna need two teaspoons of pumpkin. You're gonna need a half teaspoon of honey. And then you're also gonna need another half teaspoon, but this is gonna be of milk. And then a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. And I cannot emphasize enough that the cinnamon can irritate your skin, so test it before you put it on your face. So first go ahead and grab your bowl, and I'm going to just go ahead and be adding the pumpkin because this is our main ingredient throughout the entire video, so it's the first thing we're going to be adding. And then I'm going to go ahead and spoon in some of the honey, and then after the honey, I'm going to be adding the milk. And then the last thing is the cinnamon, and I cannot emphasize again, once again, that you need to test it on your face because it did irritate my skin. I have really sensitive skin, so please test it before you put it on your face because it can't irritate it. And then whisk it together. The whisk gives it the best consistency possible. And then that's it. That's the finished facial. So let me go ahead and show y'all how to use it. First thing you want to do is apply a cleanser and clean your face. I use the Aveeno one, it's my favorite. And then go ahead and warm up the mask in your hands and then kind of spread it all over your face. By warming it up, it makes it a little bit easier to spread across your face because the pumpkin can be a little chunky that the whisk kind of missed. So go ahead and do that. And remember, it's not going to be completely even all over your face and just try to get it on as best as you can. I like to use a circular pattern because it kind of helps it kind of smear all over. So once you have completely applied that all over your face, you want to go ahead and let it dry for 15 to 20 minutes and then go ahead and wash it off with warm water and then pad dry and you're done. Next is the pumpkin hair mask. And for this, you're going to need half a cup of pumpkin, a fourth cup of just regular plain yogurt. Try to use natural yogurt if possible, but just plain yogurt is fine too. And then two tablespoons of honey. So go ahead and grab your mixing bowl, and then we're just going to be adding in all the ingredients. I did it pumpkin, yogurt, and then honey, but if you want to do it in any other order, that's completely fine too because it's all going to get the exact same end product. So once you have all of your ingredients in your bowl, go ahead and grab your whisk, and this once again will help it get the best consistency possible and kind of evenly distribute the pumpkin because it can be kind of chunky, I feel like. So once you finally get this as your end product, you have finished the hair mask, and let me go ahead and show y'all how I use it. When you apply the hair mask, you want to make sure you have wet hair. So go ahead and wet it first, and then grab your hair mask, and you want to put it on your entire head. So you want to go from roots to tip. I put it focusing on the ends more so. I did put it on my roots as well, but because I have such dry ends, I feel like that kind of helped moisturize it. And then go ahead and put it on a bun on top of your head. You can also use a shower cap if you have one. I didn't have one on me, so I didn't use it. But you're just going to go ahead and leave it up for a good 30 minutes and then rinse it out and that's it. Last, I wanted to share with y'all a pumpkin body scrub. And for this, you're gonna need half a cup of pumpkin. You're also gonna need two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. You're also gonna need half a cup of brown sugar. One tablespoon of nutmeg. And this does not irritate your skin, so you don't have to worry about testing it. And then you're going to need half a cup of white cane sugar. And then last, you're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So go ahead and grab a mixing bowl. This bowl, you're going to want it to be bigger than the other one. And then go ahead and add in all your ingredients. doesn't matter what order. Once again, you just want to make sure they all get into your bowl. And then once you've added them all, go ahead and start mashing it together until you finally get it far enough to where you get a consistency similar to one like this. And then you have finished it. This is it. This is a finished body scrub. So I like to use this on my legs especially because I feel like in the fall time they get kind of dry. 
but you're going to want to keep it in a nice airtight container and then you're also going to want to keep it refrigerated because the pumpkin can go kind of ripe smelling if you leave it in your shower. So just remember that because I didn't and it went kind of haywire. So just remember that and you'll be golden. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my last video I did, my what's in my backpack video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!